everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here. I just watched the House pass a bill. They passed a bill called the Delivering for America Act. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what that means, what it has in it, and what we can pretty much count on with the bill because it's gone through the House and been passed. Uh, where does it go from here and what happens from here? You'll find out in this video after this. Well, it looks like um, 8015 is going to go through. and So it looks like the Delivering for America Act is going to go through. Right now, Democrats are 100 and 159. Republicans are 24 for yeas. 184 votes are in. Uh, as far as the yeas, the nays are 141. So looks like it's definitely going to tip in the balance because every Democrat is voting yay for this. So since the House is democratically controlled, this bill will definitely pass. It will go through. And um, they've been going back and forth debating over what was going to be in the actual bill to make sure that, um, that people that were getting medication, that are getting actual um, SSI checks and, and uh, Social Security checks and seniors that need their money. People that count on the Postal Service. Nancy Pelosi had a part in there where she went in and, and described all about the people in California who were not getting their medication, their life, life dependent, right? Uh, life dependent medication. Also, people that needed their uh, checks to survive. Um, that they needed and they were not getting it. Also, in my comments in the video from the last video I just put out there, a lot of people were talking about how they've seen a disruption in the mail in the last few months. Um, how you doing, Marilyn? And also, so many people who commented in the video. I appreciate you guys in the community. Um, when we hit 80,000 subscribers, I'm giving away at 800 bucks. Also, um, I'll be giving away $700 on Monday to somebody in the comments. I let my staff on Monday pick uh, randomly the comments so that, um, you know, it, we have some amazing community here. Also, uh, this bill will help ensure that the ballots go out and that the funding that's needed for the Postal Service will be there. Again, this is the House voting on this. Even though we've seen the debates, we've seen a lot of grandstanding with um, them talking on, on the floor, this is not done yet. Now, what I read when I look at what happens on the House floor, I watch the votes and I see if this is a bipartisan and in fact, right now, the bipartisanship is like the Republicans. There's 24 yeas, meaning yes, and 144 nays. That means Republicans have many Republicans in the House are voting, believe it or not, against this bill for the $25 billion um, that is recommended to the floor that they've had to recommit, meaning they had to make changes to the bill and recommit it. It goes through this forging process, right? A bill goes in and then people come in and say, like there was one uh, guy that recommitted the bill and changed it. He said that um, he wanted to make sure that they prioritize the medication going out and the the uh, voting ballots were another thing. And also, any Postal Service person um, that they included in the bill, any Postal Service person that's tampering with a vote, slowing down a vote, stopping the vote, or playing with the vote would suffer severe penalties, um, jail time, that sort of thing, for um, breaking, uh, breaking that down. So we don't see a bipartisan vote here in the House. We have... A lot of Republicans that are not voting on it, the House is Democratic. So if it's Democratic, we can see this is not a bipartisan bill. So even though this will pass, and I will say, um, you know, in this, this um, in what I put out there, that this is a passed bill that's passed the, the uh, House, which the House is about like 416 people that vote. The Senate is still required. The Senate is actually Republican. There are 100 senators, 
and those senators, um, they decide which way it's going to go, and it's Republican influence. And in the House, we can see the influence of the Republicans because they, stri they try and stay in alignment with each other along the same lines because later on people say, hey, did you vote with the Republicans? That's why we have parties, and people go to the different parties to follow party lines so as a group they can get things done. So I heard Nancy talk about it. I, I don't see why this bill has become such a... This is something the House could have done poolside like they did um, with the HEROES Act and some of the other stuff, which I think we're going on three months or 100 days that the HEROES Act has been ignored, that $3 trillion bill. The HEALS Act of $1.1 trillion, that has been ignored as not being enough. And now this bill doesn't have what we needed in, in it either. So. We're going to see, because on the eve of this bill, this will pass the House. We're at 205 now, yays to 145 nays. Um, there's 80 that are not, I guess, not going to vote, that are just uh, not part of it. So we're pretty much done. Time remaining is one minute. So this is pretty much done. It's passed. It's going to go through the, um, the House. So. The House is definitely in about 44 seconds, 42 will, will be all done, except for California coming up. So, House Rest 965. Yep. So, 8015. 24 seconds left. And Mr. this bill will I pass. Representative Kirkpatrick, pursuant to HR 965, I inform the House of Kirkpatrick to vote yes on HR. So a lot of people that watch this get confused with how the bill passes and how legislation passes. Um, what they do is that they will have a bill and they will debate it and they'll go through it and they'll make amendments and they'll change it um, and then they'll recommit the bill for a vote. House that um, Mr. Peters will vote yes on HR 8015. They could have voted just electronically. They didn't have to come up. So, yeah, it looks Member like we're about Mr. all done. Yep. 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 Yes, you can count on the Democrats pretty much almost all. They all voted yes on this. So, this is a Democratic bill. Uh, this is definitely a not a bipartisan thing like Nancy said it was going to be bipartisan meaning Republicans and Democrats would vote on this and that is not what happened and the time is up and uh, we have um, a bill that is going to pass it looks like the delivering for America Act is passed in the House now it'll go to the Senate and um, in the Senate it'll probably not be passed so um, Maybe they can use this time while they're in Washington to reconvene and have a talk with Mark Meadows and with Stephen Mnuchin in the White House. Maybe Nancy and Chuck Schumer can get it together and put something together so that we can actually have something. So I'm Andrew Cartwright. I, uh, I wish I had better news about this bill. This bill does not look like it has bipartisan support. Uh, Republicans are like 144. They nays to all... 100, they're at 198 yeas for the Democrats. So there's 220, 22 yeas, current moment, 23, 145 nays by Republicans and one independent party. So this bill, it's going to pass, but I don't think it's going to make it through the Senate because the Republicans probably won't, will vote against it unless they have some sort of bipartisan support uh, that crosses the line and all the Democrats vote for it. So it looks like this bill is toast. And it looks like they don't have stimulus uh, in the bill. So, at any rate, take care. I love you guys. Hope you um, have a great Saturday.